Can I start again? Yes, please. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, these two new mini heads are basically, we've, been, we've done them because of the success of the Valve King mini head. And they're based on two of our most iconic products the, uh, the classic, obviously in the tweed covering, and then the 6505, which is, you know, very, very well known he heavy metal amplifier. So, I'll go through the classic first of all. Obviously this shares um, its tonality with the rest of the classic range, so it's predominantly got a really good clean sound and then a reasonably overdriven uh, uh, dirty channel as well. It doesn't go into the kind of levels of the game that the 6505 does. And this is this is pretty low in volume. All amplifiers feature this TSI circuit, which is okay. shown on these LEDs yeah. here. Now, yeah. what this does is, it's always the way, sorry, it stands for tube status indication, and it does exactly what that describes. It is analysing the state of the tubes at all times, the, the, the power tubes and then it will indicate if there's any problem. So if it needs to shut down just to overcurrent or something, or if they're not biased properly or for any other reason, then it will go to red. And uh, if I turn to standby, that shows that when they're, when they're not being used, then the LEDs are red. So if there's a fault, then one of these would go to red. I, I, I can't make it go to a fault mode, uh, so you'd have to take my word for it, but yep. the fact that they go red they go between standby and on shows that it's sensing that they're not drawing current anymore, so it switches to that. Now around the back, on all of these, we've got the same features, which is extensive. We have a U USB out, uh, the switches for, I'll say the jacks for the, the, for the switches, the first switches, which do channel boost and reverb and loop. There's the effects loop, filled uh, DI output, where you can switch the whole output off with that button oh, and, wow. and use the headphone out. Yeah. Then you also have impedance switch output and then another switch for 20 watts, 5 watts or 1 watt. So you can, you can drive the amplifier hard but not, not produce all of the sound. So it diverts the sound to, uh, to dummy loads inside. So on the, on the simulated out, what kind of cab or speaker combination is it simulating? It's basically a 12 inch um, speaker with a microphone about 8 inches okay. from it. So it's a you know, good uh, uh, effort of getting your sound into yeah, a device or, or into Spaces. a desk for live This is the one all yeah. the metal heads are going nuts yeah. over. Yeah, this is different kind of beast this. Um, not quite so clean on the river channel. Actually, here, here it's still very usable. That was fun. But you can see where you can foot switch. You can foot switch to the crunch sound. As well as the uh, to switch to the lead sound as well. and presence like you'd expect on a 6505. Yep. You've got the TSI LEDs and then all the rear panels are exactly the same as the as the classic. So you've got the same uh, power attenuation, power, uh, power mute, USB out, MSDI out, all of that is exactly the same. Cool. And yeah, that's the, that's the two new mini heads. Cool, thanks very much. Could you give me some like real chuggy, brutal sounding stuff on this? This is what everyone's hanging out for.
Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, so, what what tubes are in the power section? Uh, two EL84s. Okay. Yeah, that's and the same in all of them. And have you guys tuned the preamp itself in any way compared oh, the, to the... The preamps, are complete, the preamps are completely based on the amplifiers which they are derived from. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's meant to sound like a classic. That's meant to sound like a 6505. So they're very different preamps from what you see. That one. But they, um, I mean, compared to the full-sized the, head, the only, the, the only difference yeah. is because I've made the, we've got the the crunch and clean channel mm -hmm. foot switchable. Because normally you, you can you just it's just a switch yeah. on the big one. You can, it's got to be either clean or crunch. But we had an extra foot switch, you know, option. So that became the first switch so I had to adjust the circuitry there just to level things up because the crunch sound is so much louder than the clean sound so it needed to switch in another circuit to pull it back yeah, yeah. that was it that was the cool. only thing that's any different cool Great. So when, when people are buying that, they're, they're not buying a, just a, you know, a cheap version of 6505. It's the same circuit. It does all the same stuff. All, all true. Yeah. Arguably, it makes it a little bit more versatile as well because you, you, you know, integrated that clean and crunch yeah, switching. I, I mean, I don't know why they didn't do it to start with. Well, I suppose Eddie didn't. Eddie, <laughs> Eddie didn't need it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was just literally a case of, well, I had, a, I had an extra switch on the foot switch. I might as well use it. Yes. So, and I found that in the, did the first prototype. But, and so I thought, well, I might as well use that. But I, I then had to add in the extra circuitry to bring it down because it was too much of a shift. You went clean, cling, 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 and then go to crunch. It was, yeah. You know, so it, 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 was good. it was a fairly good balance. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. No, it was it's way loud. It was like 10 dB loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big ones will blow your head off, won't they? And obviously, yeah, there isn't a separate master for that, so yeah. it needed to do it in the channel. Yeah. Whereas on the, on the dirty channel, obviously you have... You can set that way. Great designer and great guitar player. I feel very inadequate right now. <laughs> hey, thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah, nice to see you. Cheers. Cheers.